Uh, Derek, we're just waiting for them to log in. I just send the link out to them. Okay. When you're ready, you just say, we are ready, and then I'll okay. begin. I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, Derek, we're just waiting for them to log in. I just send the link sure. out. Sure, no, no problem, no problem.
Derek, we are ready. Okay. Make sure you're recording it as well, okay? All peoples clap your hands, cry out to God with shouts of joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. We offer this Mass as a month's mind Mass for the repose of the soul of Rudolf Rodericks. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment to call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his pardon, and his mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be the children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We will now listen to the readings from Sacred Scripture. A reading from the book of the prophets, Amos. Hear this word, O children of Israel, that the Lord pronounces over you, over the whole family that I brought up from the land of Egypt. You alone have I favored more than all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your crimes. Do two walk together unless they have agreed? Does a lion roar in the forest when it has no prey? Does a young lion cry out from its den unless it has seized something? Is a bird brought to earth by a snare when there is no lure for it? Does a snare spring up from the ground without catching anything? If the trumpet sounds in a city, will the people not be frightened? If evil befalls a city, has not the Lord caused it? Indeed, the Lord God does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. The lion roars, who will not be afraid? The Lord God speaks, who will not prophesy? I brought upon you such upheaval as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You were like a brand plucked from the fire, yet you returned not to me, says the Lord. So now I will deal with you in my own way, O Israel, 
and since I will deal thus with you, prepare to meet your God, O Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response to the psalm will be, lead me in your justice, Lord. At dawn, I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Our response, lead me in your justice, Lord. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Our response, lead me, me in your justice, justice Lord. Lord. But I will, I beg your pardon, but I, because of your abundant mercy, will enter your house. I will worship at your holy temple in fear of you, O Lord. Our response, lead me, me in your, your justice, justice, Lord. The Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a violent storm came up on the sea so that the boat was being swamped by waves, but he was asleep. They came and woke him saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, why are you terrified? O you of little faith. Then he got up rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. The men were amazed and said, what sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. My dear uh, Lalita, Shalin, Sean, Santia, and Jude, the rest of the family and friends of Rudolph. As we gather here today to celebrate this mass, commemorating one month since he passed away, I can only imagine the emotions that you have been going through. I'm sure there have been moments of great sadness Perhaps there were moments of consolation. You also might have experienced a sense of abandonment. Maybe there were times that you experienced fear. Each one mourns differently. And I just want to assure you that you have a right to the way you feel. You do not need to apologize for the way you feel at this time. It's all part of the process of mourning the death of Rudolph. And I'm sure there have been times where you have felt like the disciples in the boat, when the Lord has been distant. It seems like he's literally asleep. And as we see in today's gospel, he is asleep, but he's not far. He's there and he is in control, even though the situation might look always in control. And we as people of faith, we are called to exercise our faith, especially in moments when we face a storm, knowing that the Lord is with us. And so today the Lord tells us very clearly from this gospel, do not be afraid, have faith. 
I am with you. Even though we do not feel his presence sometimes, he is with us and we can always trust in him. So today I encourage you to just place at the foot of the cross everything that you're feeling, all your worries, any fears, any anxieties, all the sadness, place it at the foot of the cross. It's all part of the healing process. And the Lord who loves us unconditionally, he will touch you, he will heal you, and he will give you the consolation that you need. With faith and confidence, we trust that our brother Rudolph is in the arms of our Heavenly Father in heaven. That is our faith. That is our hope. May our faith and hope continue to lead us on, on this journey of life. Amen. Now with faith and confidence, we bring to the Lord our prayers and petitions. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, that the Lord may continue to bless them and guide them as they lead the church. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick and suffering, especially in this pandemic that is facing affecting the whole world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are suffering from economic distress, all those suffering from anxiety and fear, that they might experience the reassuring presence of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who mourn, especially for the family and friends of Rudolph, that they might be comforted. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we pray for the repose of the souls of all the faithful departed, especially of our brother Rudolf and all the members of his family. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we lift up to you these our prayers and petitions we ask you to grant them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, 
grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Rudolph, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. You may offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me, bless his holy name. We shall now have an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you Amen. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. So I understand uh, the family wants to say a few words at this time. So we can go ahead and do that. My mom, Sean, and myself would like to thank each one of you for joining us in this month's Mind Mass for our dad. We are truly thankful and very comforted by your constant calls and condolence messages. 
We are deeply grateful to our family, friends, and neighbors for standing by us in these terrible times, particularly given the COVID-19 risks and restrictions. Thank you for being there for us. It really meant a lot, especially for mom. We wish to express our deep gratitude and appreciation to Father Derek Saldana and Benvin Lopez for conducting this month's Mind Mass and also the Seventh Day Memorial Mass. Words can't express how grateful we are. Thank you so much. We will be sending you a memorial card beautifully designed by my cousin, Alistair Fernandez. We trust this acknowledgement will be accepted by all as a token of our sincere appreciation. I would like to conclude with a tribute to my dad. It's never the right time to say goodbye. I will miss you, dad, and you're, you're his wife. You taught me so much to show no fear, to always have fun and face the day with cheer. You were always so able, so fast and so strong. In your little girl's eyes, you could do no wrong. You would always listen and you never cried. You were the arms around me when I cried. You never looked for praises and you were never the one to boast. You were always there for those you loved the most. You worked so hard and those strong working hands led me through life and helped me understand that life can be hard and tough and sad, but through it all, I had my dad. And because of you, I understood that life was actually pretty good. I believe in you and will follow your path. And when things go wrong, I'll look back and laugh. I hope you can hear me, dad, so now, I can let you know that you were and will forever be my superhero. So yes, today I am full of sorrow, but I will smile a little more with each tomorrow. So please dad, go be at rest and know to me you are and you were always the best. We love you so much and we miss you every day. Thank you, Charlene, for that uh, beautiful tribute. Uh, it's been a joy for me to be able to celebrate this Mass uh, for your dad. And I'm very happy I was able to do it. And uh, be assured of my prayers. And I know all the family and friends, like you mentioned, uh, they are all with you in prayer. Uh, one of the problems even at, I see at my parish is that it's very hard for families who mourn at this time because of this pandemic and the restriction of people to meet to makes it even more difficult. But we are all together, even though we might not be in the same place, we are united in prayer and in support of one another. And I pray that the Lord will bless and console your family at this time. Eternal rest grant unto Rudolph, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.